Hello, my name is Jean Cropper. I just wanted to introduce myself and tell you a bit about my background and the courses I'm teaching online so that you've got information to make uh, decisions about uh, workshops. Uh, I taught face-to-face -face workshops for over 20 years and I've taught in the United States and Canada and across Australia. Uh, I've taught up in Arnhem Land and Darwin and Northern Territory and all the way down to Bernie and uh, Tasmania. I've taught in uh, Geraldton and around Western Australia and uh, east to Sydney, where I live. Uh, so I've got a lot of experience of teaching face-to-face -face workshops, and I've written three art and craft books, and together the three of them uh, have sold over 30,000 copies. So I've got a lot of experience writing instructions, and that I found particularly important in my transition to teaching online. Uh, I've been teaching online for the last six months and learned an awful lot. It's a very different thing than teaching face-to-face. -face. You can't just pop over and um, help somebody at their desk. So that's been frustrating, but also uh, teaching online offers different joys. Uh, it's been wonderful in the sense that uh, so you can digitally work side-by-side -side with someone in Paris or rural South Africa. Or, uh, I've had students from Israel and the UK. Uh, across the US and around Australia. So it's a different sort of connection and um, there's certainly new things as a teacher you can do and that you can't do. So uh, that's been, been, been a journey. Uh, I always do detailed worksheets so that someone can uh, watch the video, but they can also back off. Uh, sometimes people have had just enough of staring at a screen, which I certainly understand. Uh, at the moment, I'm uh, teaching three different workshops online, and uh, they are uh, meditative drawing or slow drawing, which is sort of a form of doodling where you're creating a pattern by drawing shapes, lines, or dots over and over, and your brain has something to focus on, and so the rest of the world sort of disappears, and it, your brain quiets down. So it's, it's great as sort of a mental health initiative, I suppose, or lowering, lowering anxiety, or uh, just to relax and have a bit of fun and a bit of satisfaction in, in drawing. And I found that um, popular with people who have absolutely no art background, and also artists can use the um, bits of their patterns for, for collage, parts of other drawings, for covers for books, um, and greeting cards. So lots of uses for meditative drawing and it also can be done just for the process of enjoying some drawing and some creative time together. Uh, I've done Words as Art, the second workshop, and that's about uh, people telling stories and using words in um, artworks and uh, different creative ways, often making little books out of one sheet of paper so that people can tell stories and put them into a shareable form. And the third is cartooning. So uh, cartooning faces, cartooning robots and monsters, uh, cartooning self-portraits. And so those three different areas are the ones that I have moved online. Uh, happy to take questions about uh, workshops or the kinds of things we do. Uh, I record some video ahead of time so that I can do close-up close up shots of hands and showing a process. Uh, and then I talk live with it so that... Um, uh, I can respond to students and questions and comments and discussions, but I've got uh, some uh, detailed uh, video so that you can actually see a process really, really clearly and that that's edited down and um, in a way that um, works best for uh, a student learning. Uh, yeah, I guess that's about it, but uh, feel free to contact me if you've got some questions. Thank you.